name is Jim Rose, and this is my wife, B.B. Rose. Hi. We never fight because I'm the human dartboard, and she's the one that throws the darts at me. Oh! One more! I'm Matt the Tube Crowley with the Jim Rose Circus Sideshow. I like to stick condoms up my nose, make them come out of my mouth. Watch out front row for nose debris, because he's going to stick it into his mouth. Apply pressure and blow it back out the nose! And now, I like to blow up hot water bottles until they explode. I stick tubing into my nose, into my stomach. I pump myself full of beer, ketchup, chocolate, Maalox. We pull it back out. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's science. Oh! How did those raccoons get out of that trap? What did you do before this? I was a pharmacist in, uh, in Seattle for five years. Oh! Big can! No finger, thank you very much. As a pharmacist, I um, would associate with um, nurses sometimes, and that's how I learned about the uh, the tube act was through a nurse who uh, was he he had access to uh, real gastric lavage units uh, in the hospital, and he gave me one as a, just as a joke. And I thought, well, this would be a wild thing to try because I knew it uh, it could be done, and so I tried it, and yes, it can be done, and I eventually built my own tube that's much, much bigger than the type used in the hospital, just for, a, for a theatrical use. Ever seen a man drink a beer through the nose? Have you? Well, then how about you? He loves to get drunk, but he hates the taste of beer. A taste bud bypass. Ketchup. So how did it start? I was doing these shows with belly dancers in a little Middle Eastern restaurant. It started to sell out. People started driving hundreds of miles to see the show. And it seemed like collectively like-minded monsters sat up in their crypts and came to audition. And in a matter of about a month, the world's greatest bizarre performers uh, got together and we just started touring the world. How did you find the other guys? They came, they came up. He can talk. Every time somebody would knock my eyes out, I'd just replace a belly dancer. Later. Becoming a 
a musician full time instead of traveling with a circus? Well, in the old days, uh, that used to be the foremost in my mind, and uh, the sideshow was something I would do maybe in between sets. But um, surprisingly enough, it turned out that sword swallowing was what I went on to. Uh, that was my claim to fame, so to speak. He pops it down. Over. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Guinness Book of World Records stopped sword swallowing in 1987 because of two deaths. This sword is one inch longer than the swords that caused the deaths in 1987. Give him a sporting chance. About two feet of steel, which goes down the esophagus, past the heart and the lungs, into, into the stomach, which is an involuntary uh, muscle, and uh, the uh, passage down is only about a half a millimeter thick. So it's it's quite a thrilling experience. Ah, let's take a look at yet another beautiful monster. Here. Take a look underneath this monster's eyes. You know, sometimes people say it's a hard job, but somebody's got to do it. Yeah, I, I say that all the time. <laughs> right. Well, I'm not so certain anybody does have to do this job. You can make a living out of it? Yeah, I mean, we're not getting rich. We spend most of the money just to keep going. What do you do in the show? I uh, lift up weights with uh, pierced body parts. You can name them all, it's Swedish television. Oh, uh, ears, nose, tongue, nipples, and penis. Do not try this at home! I do a lot of like yogi and stretching exercises and like meditation and stuff, so. So it's hard work behind it, is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it took us a long time to, you know, we didn't just go out and do the stuff we do, we just practiced for a long time, so. The yogi practice, that's like sitting on your head for hours? Stuff like that, you know, and, and, you know. Just uh, mesmerizing the same thing over and over again, and meditation, and just, just mind over matter, you know? If you don't mind, it doesn't matter, right? So. Cucumber break. Cucumber break. One of the many uses this man has for a cucumber. You see, he's bitter. Does it hurt? Uh, no. I mean, having a cigarette in your nose? No. Um... I wouldn't say it's pain, I'd say it's discomfort, like when you stub your toe, you know, because we've trained ourselves over the years to, like, be accustomed to it. Here are slafer. This is where we sleep. Fina slafer. And over there was the non-smoking room. De har det här rökrummet alltså. How many, how many days are you out now on tour? Well, we do 260 shows a year. I do 260 a days a week? Yeah. You all, you all have families? Um, kind of. I'll tell you about my tattoos. Uh, I started last year a girl named Ashley who started on my legs and then of course she got really busy and then I it's like a true romance story I flew her up to my home in Seattle and uh, she completed all the puzzle work during the month of January of this year and then of course during my off times which is far few and far between I then go home to my uh, home in Seattle and, and she fills me in blue You know, I mean, uh, I really get a kick out of out of being, you know, in the scene or out there on the stage. Oh, 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 Enigma, don't eat that one. It's been on the floor. Oh, don't play with your food. Enigma. I mean, realistically, the reason I'm doing it is because entertainment like this is disappearing, and I wanted to bring it to a whole new generation, so that at least we'll get into the 21st century. 
any other numbers you're, you're planning for next year or so? Um, not that I've worked out very well. I, I like uh, power tools, uh, things that make a lot of noise, things that are inherently dangerous, uh, but I haven't really worked them out specifically yet. They're still just floating around in my mind. It's Halloween, and we want to celebrate tonight. How does the Jim Rose Circus Slide Show celebrate? We take 50 firecrackers to the naked skin. And mine. And here we go, this is how we celebrate! Which is the worst part? Uh, loading equipment in and out every day. Seriously. I mean, doing the show, you know, doing the show's great. It's fun. And now the world famous, let us swing! They don't call it a cop or a dick anymore. Men line up at the urinals and they shake their lips, though. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the man! Is there lots of blonde-haired, blue-eyed people in Sweden? Yes? We're coming to Sweden! Woo!